What's up guys? Josh from the MTG New back again. And this looks like a great opening hand. There ain't no doubt. Would prefer something besides a swindler here, but what are you going to do? Not mulligan. This is round two of this 8-4 event. Alright, it is likely that our weirds will get a stab wound eventually, but it is nice being able to sack them out after you determine you've had enough. Oh, getting in for two, baby. I guess we know what our opponent is playing here. And maybe he's able to kill this, which is fine. Uh, next turn we should be able to get in for three. And a racketeer. Got our own splatter thug. All right. Um, here we'll just go ahead and get in for a few. This guy's big. And we'll cast out our other weird. Oh yeah, that's a great start. Let's see what our opponent wants to do here. He pitched a land with his racketeer. Four? Cobble Brute. Hmm. It's tempting to just take his Cobble Brute and beat him about the face with it. Um, can have a Splatter Thug. Don't mind maybe trading out for the Brute. Let's see. He's going to be swinging in with it possibly anyway. Um, I think maybe the play is to swing in with this weird. Pump one, get in for two. Yeah. Um, I think that's what we want to do. Because otherwise he does kill us out here. Uh, without a trick. We don't want to lose that one yet. We don't really want to just pass either, as I think we can get in for at least one or two. Um, Cobble Brute is underrated, I think. I mean, five power is a lot, so... We'll swing here. Let's see what he wants to do. And that's fine. We'll play our Splatter Thug non unleashed style. Just as a 2 2 first strike. Maybe he's able to remove it and swing effectively. Stab wound, maybe. Give him a stab wound. Ouch, ouchy. And so he's going to get in for five here. Um, yeah. He gets in for five. A slitherhead, you say. Okay. Um, here we swing out. He can block with everyone. Can clear his board. Um, I guess that's a decent trade, actually, uh, as we can still pump our weird in response.
Yeah, we'll swing in with this weird. Let's see if we can clear his board for a traitorous glee. Yeah. See what he wants to do. I mean, hey, we're going to offer the trade here. I mean, either way, we're going to tavern swindler. Let's see what he wants to do. Probably just leave his slither head to take the shot. Alright, so we get the nice trade. Um, there's no reason for us not to pump. Yeah, that looks good. Um, we'll pump. Pump and then give it trample. So we'll three for two and wipe. Okay, we'll have ourselves a tavern swindler. All right, so he scavenges for nothing and swings in. Oh, let's see. I think we could take six, honestly. Um, I'm willing to pay three life. Probably. Um, could block out with both. All right, if we don't, it'll put us at ten. Yeah, I'm not going to block here. See what he lays down. So, if he doesn't lay anything down, maybe he's just got some burn or a pump or something like that. Maybe he pumps for two. So we're at seven. Chain walker. Non unleashed style. All right. Um, so if we he may have burn, which is very possible. Um, if we trade his instinct, he obviously blocks out using his own guy. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Um, we just need to draw a land, and we can land the aggressor. Let's go ahead and swing in with the weird. See what he wants to do. We do need to get him down to a certain amount. For three, um, I think that's pretty relevant. He could have 
electricery. Um, ten swinging back in for eight. Okay. More to think we've got to play. All right, let's see. Maybe he removes our guy and kills us. It's possible. We'll have to. Okay. Slum Reaper. We'll swindler here. Well. Should we? Let's see, Slum Reaper hits him for six. Uh, we're kind of okay with sacrificing the weird, actually. Um, Alright, so if we rip a land, if we don't, four, two, we can pump this two, hit him for eight. It's not enough. Um, let's see, we'd rather just block out. Six, seven, eight. Well, really don't have a choice. We'll, um, I guess we'll have to sacrifice our weird. Yeah, sadly, that's how it's got to go. We can't pump him. Let's see who he wants to sack. Um, yeah, clearly he's just going to sack the Reaper. We'll sack our weird. He'll swing in for eight. We will go ahead and block here and trade out. Going to one. All right, and we will go ahead and detain that son of a gun. Hopefully he doesn't have a burn spell in hand. He may. All right. Um... Let's see here. Well, we could Minotaur Aggressor, but he's going to kill us anyway if we swing in. Um, he'll make us discard a card. We can Traitorous Instinct the Vermin, but no, I think just Minotaur Aggressor. And if he had a burn spell, I think he would have used it. So we're just not going to be able to do anything here. It's going to make us discard a card, I guess. Or he could try to get us um, another way. And that'll do it. Alright, so we'll concede. Kind of annoying. Um, his removal was just better than ours. We were a step slow the whole game. Alright, so what do we want to do? Hmm. I think Mizium skin is a reasonable trick. Um, as is the steed. But it does come out on turn four. 
Uh, I think Mizium Skin can go in over Dyna Charge. Let's try this out. I guess Essence Backlash is also a possibility. Um, and maybe we want that over the Aggressor. Um, what did we see? Yeah, we saw some stuff we could counter that I wouldn't mind countering, so I don't mind being a little more trickery and a, le a little less um, aggressive here. If he didn't have a creature play every single turn, we would have just killed him out, but he had the drain pipe vermin, which was a problem, so... see, none of this stuff really avoids what he's trying to do. The Slitherhead was an issue also. <clears throat> I thought by 3 for one him, we would be able to get a, a way to get by him. I don't think we did. If you guys see a way that I could have gotten by that, definitely tell me in the comments. I'm always looking to improve, so. Alright, let's be on the play. That was a good hand, though. That was about as good as our deck can manage, so I'm a little concerned about what we're going to see here. Oof. Um, yeah, I think Static Caster does a lot of damage. If we can rip an island, we'll be in business. Um, let's not mulligan. Don't have the early defense like we did before, so we may just end up taking a beating. Alright. Need to pull a land and get the key rune out. But, there we go. Okay. Key rune is out. Is it better to have the key rune, or is it better? I think it's better to have the key rune here. I think we need to play a little bit of a late game. Would like to put a little bit of pressure on him with the Reveler, but what's he got? Racketeer. Okay, I think maybe we try to get over on the Racketeer with the Static Caster. Um, and we're just going to pretend that we can't do anything here. I think we might be able to two-for-one him. It'll be something that's worthy of an auger spree. Not bad. Okay. Um, let's see here. Could keep up Essence Backlash could throw down the Thrill Kill and the Reveler. I think that's actually what we need to do. We'll go ahead and unleash this guy. And we won't unleash him. One more, and we can land the Predator, which will do work. Also, Pursuit is a big deal. Augur Spree. Nope, Stab Wound. Okay. Um... 
Okay. Um, well, let's see. Let's just hold what we're doing here. Or do we want to sack the Predator so we don't have to take another five? Um, could go more aggressive. Can we race him here effectively, though? I don't know. Um... We gotta get something on the board. Okay. Take five. Thing's a beast. Come on, there's got to be something juicy. Spells power, huh? Got another land, eh? The static caster is probably going to see the other side of the woods here on this one. Um, let's go ahead and swing in. I think next turn we'll win, depending on what he plays. Just prevent some damage here, just in case he's got some burn. Pack rat, eh? All right, he's holding up the auger. Um, not bad. Okay, so if we make him flying. Get in for seven a number of ways. Let's see what he wants to do here. I don't think he can kill us. See what he wants to do. Gonna wait for his response here. So we could either use the key rune. Or have defense. I don't think he's got two cards. I mean, could he have a Electricery and a Mizium Mortars? He could have something to kill the key rune. He could have something to burn the weird. It's most likely we're going to see his removal spell now. So I think trying to get in for the win here. Um, 
Well, if we just do the key rune, I mean, he just kills it. He just uh, trades out with the pack rat. So, um, let's go ahead and swing in. Maybe he augurs the predator. Nah, okay. All right, so Essence Black Backlash was the difference in that um, in that game. Let's see a weird. Targressor's not bad. Equisteed. It's actually not bad against him, but do we want to get more defensive? It is expensive to use the ability. Um, might be better than the Swindler. Hmm. Is the Steed better than the Swindler? I don't think so. Just because I like the, having the ability to use the Swindler's um, tap ability and possibly gain life if we absolutely had to have it. We were dead to rights or something. He's got a good Rakdos deck, though. I mean, it's got removal. It's got a lot of good stuff. All right, let's see what we got. This looks good. It's multicolored. We will not mulligan. He's going to be on the play, which is going to give him a turn head start. But he started slowly last time. Hopefully he does again. Um, all right, we'll play the Steam Vents. We definitely do not want to pay for the life. We've got the Flailer also on turn three, unless we need the Static Caster. So the Flailer comes in as a 4-3. It's pretty good. Mm, that's that's nice. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and play our weird. Make this one a water weird. The weird does a lot of work. No, no, it's giving a weird stab wound. Alright, he's going to effectively set us back a turn. Uh, but we have busted out some of his removal. And we'll sack our weird out. We make sure we're not going to be hasty attacked. Alright, so he's got a hellhole flailer, eh? Okay. He's definitely ahead of us with the stab wound. Gonna go ahead and burn this. Um, let's see what we want to do here. It's a 4-3. Go ahead and unleash our own. Swing in. Cast the horror. He may just want to do 8 to us next turn, and that's fine. Sorry, I was dealing with a computer ad there. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. All right, this is going to be our choice. We're going to have to race him a little bit here. We'll unleash it. Playing kind of loose here. Uh, he's got a Slum Reaper. That's kind of annoying. But it does keep him on top. A mind run, huh? Okay, well, let's see here. What do we want to get rid of? I do like the static caster as a blocker. Um, so I think we're going to have to get rid of the predator. And um, I think we can cast everything in our hand. So we'll get rid of a mountain. Next turn will be, I mean, what's he got for one? Okay, We've got a guild gate. Um, here we'll swing in. Cast our Critborn Horror. As a 4-4, four, four. Um, I don't think he's going to be running two Mind Rot, so I'm going to go ahead and play my Guild Gate out. Now he's got to worry about this just a little bit. He could play a Slum Reaper, causing us to sack out. He's apparently got to play, so... Okay, it's fine. You're going to draw a land. We'll swing in and pass turn. Unless he's got something for one black. I mean, I don't know what it could be. Um, See what it is. Come on. Okay. We'll throw down the static caster here. Uh, when I get my steam vents tapped out right. Okay, one, two, three does not leave us enough. 
Um, I'm wondering if he wants to kill our Hellhole Flailer, because if it hits us for four, if he's got All right, we need to think this through. If he removes this, we're just dead. So I think we have to play the Splatter Thug. Go for a little bit of late game here. Let's see what he wants to do. So maybe a close one. I wish we had one more mana, but the Mind Rock kind of stuck us on that, so. I think we've played a land every turn, though. We may have missed one. Right, got the old racketeer. And let's see what he's got for two. Okay, um, all right, I guess we could swing in. We gotta try to kill him. All right, well, maybe it just makes it. Three, four. All right, well, we got through. Um, it was kind of tough playing with the Essence Backlash against us, I think, for him, as I think he was concerned about it the whole time, but it worked, and we're going to the finals to see how our deck does in the finals. That was a good Rakdos deck there. So uh, thanks for watching. This is Josh for the MTG Noob.